I have this picture I love of me and all the other kids in my computer science class in high school. It's literally like all boys. <laughs> and then me in my bright pink flowery shirt in the middle. Do I wish there were more people that looked like me that could like actually relate? Like, of course, obviously. Computer science to me means understanding magic, how magic works. Everybody sees their phone works, but nobody knows what it's doing inside the programming that's happening. I've always been interested, but like in my family, I don't have anybody that works in the technology industry. I'm still figuring out where to go with tech. This is something that I can do, and this is something that I really want to do. But I don't even know what the next step would be. Thing's huge, right? I can't believe we're gonna be driving this big old thing. This summer, we're going on a road trip across the US. We're interviewing people who are successful and they're minorities as well. We're underrepresented in computer science. What I hope for is a little bit of insight, just a little bit of advice that might change the way I think. I'm hoping to develop even more of like a passion for computer science and also like a confidence in what I'm doing. You can follow the traditional routes, and you can get traditional responses. Or you can be bold, you can be brave, and you can be brilliant. Choose your road. Listen to what speaks to you. All your accomplishments, all your failures, get them, embrace them both, but don't let them define you, because you're going to define your own happiness and your own success. This whole experience has kind of made me excited about the possibilities of tech. You guys are impressive people. The energy to be successful is 100% in you. And technology is going to enable you to do some things, possibly change the world, if you desire to do that. But it's not going to change who you are. And remember that what you are, who you are, is enough. You have what you need. You are enough.